Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. So in this video, we'll be talking about object lock retention and we'll be seeing how to secure our objects. So let's go ahead and start. So initially go to your Amazon S3 console. For that, uh, go to the services and here go to the storage service. And here you can see there is a S3, click that. So this is how you can uh, redirect to management console. So once you are here, let's go ahead and create one bucket. So click create and here add your name like uh, the bucket should be, uh, you know, unique. So I'll be using uh, MRT bucket. And uh, here, let's enable the versioning because uh, the object lock retention only works when there is a bucket versioning enabled. So make sure it's enabled and go to our advanced settings. And here you can see object lock. Make sure you enable this one. So you see uh, store objects using uh, write once and read many, or in short, we can call it as warm model to help you prevent objects from being deleted or overwritten for a fixed amount of time or indefinitely. So when you enable this permanently allow objects in this bucket to be locked. Additionally, object locks configuration is required in the bucket details after bucket uh, creation to protect objects in the bucket from being deleted or overwritten. So let's acknowledge this one and let's create a bucket. So meanwhile, when the bucket is created, so the definition of uh, object lock retention, so it's a basically feature in Amazon S3 that helps you to protect important files from being accidentally changed or deleted. So it allows you to set a specific time uh, period during which the object or a file cannot be modified or deleted. That is where uh, we use the object lock retention concept. So since we have enabled this, let's go ahead and click this bucket and uh, let's upload a few fi uh, files. So let's click upload. And uh, here I'll be uploading the files that we have uploaded in the previous video uh, where we use the static website. So I have uploaded these documents and uh, let's click upload. So let's close this one and uh, coming to the bucket. So if we go to the property section here, So you see object lock. So we have enabled it, but uh, there is a default retention. So we can uh, edit this one and make sure you enable this. So automatically protects a new objects put into this object from being deleted or overwritten. So when you enable this, we have two different modes, the governance and compliance. So coming to the governance mode, the retention settings can be changed or uh, removed by authorized users. So it provides a flexible in managing data retention requirements, making it suitable for uh, situations where you might need to adjust the rules. So when you select this governance, uh, you can change this afterwards. So you see users with a specific IAM uh, permissions can uh, override or delete protected objects versions during the retention period. So that is what the governance is. So if you check the compliance, so this is more rigid. So once the retention period is set, nobody, including the highest level of access, in short, we can call it admin, I cannot uh, remove the permissions. So this mode ensures strict compliance with regulations or legal requirements that demand data to retain uh, or remain unchangeable. So that is what uh, the second one is. So you can see here, no users can overwrite or delete the protected objects versions during the retention uh, period. So that is what uh, it is. So in this case, I'll just keep it as one. Uh, and uh, let's save the changes. So right now we have uh, kept the governance mode. And uh, so the people who have uh, IAM permissions can change this. So I'm just keeping it uh, safe. And let's go to the objects. So let's click uh, error.html. And uh, here, if you see, there is a object lock uh, legal hold. So what is this? So basically it's a feature that allows you to protect specific versions of files uh, from any modification or deletions regardless of retention uh, period. So it is often used to preserve data that is involved in legal or compliance matters, ensuring that uh, it remains intact until the hold is lifted. So that is what uh, it is. So let's edit it and you can enable this. So you see, we don't have uh, the options that we have in the previous like governance and compliance modes. So when you enable this, we cannot delete this. So only when you disable this, like you'll be able to delete. So right now let's uh, keep it enabled. And uh, so here, let's 
select the index. So let's leave it as disabled only. So if you see, we have a data retention period of one day. So if, if I try to change this, so let's click and uh, let's try to change this, uh, the retention period, go to the buckets, uh, properties and uh, here, let's edit this one. So I was able to change it so I can make it disable, right? So I was able to change it because it was in the governance stage. So let's change it to compliance. So before that, let's try to delete, okay? Uh, so let's disable this one, okay? I'll just disable this one. So right now there is no uh, object log retention uh, features that are enabled here. So if I go back here, let's try to empty the objects. So let's make sure it's uh, removed. So where is it? So it's disabled right now. So let's try to remove it. So if I go back here, Click uh, buckets, empty the buckets, and uh, permanently delete. Let's see if all the objects are able to delete. You see, failed. Why it was failed? So there is uh, one particular file, error.html. It was failed, access denied. Since, uh, because we have uh, kept legal hold on that one. So if I go back here, if I go to MRT bucket, you see, the rest two uh, files have been deleted, like index and uh, the text file, but uh, error.htm is still there because uh, we have uh, uh, legal hold enabled. So that is the reason uh, it was not able to delete. So it prevents the objects from being deleted or overwritten until the hold is explicitly removed. So legal hold can be turned on or off by AWS accounts that has specific IAM permissions. So we can change this, disable this, and then we can delete it. So that is how we can do this. So meanwhile, if I go back and uh, if I go to the error.html, let's click that. And uh, here, let's try to object lock retention. Let's edit that one, enable. And here, let's add the compliance mode. And let's say one. Okay. So, yeah, let's save changes. I think everything is correct. So just making sure because so we will be not able to change that again. Okay, let's save the changes. So it's done. So let's try to change that again. So you can see we were not able to change since we have added compliance mode. So when you add the governance or the IAM permissions, people who have IAM permissions can change that. But uh, if that is compliance, obviously even that admin cannot change it. So as you can see, these uh, options uh, we were not able to select. So that is what uh, the concept of uh, uh, object lock is. So yeah, coming to this video, I hope you guys have understood the concept of today's video. If you've liked the video, please click the like button below. And if you've not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video. Thanks everyone.